that, you gotta work real hard for them, don't you? Hey, listen to the man. You want something, you gotta work for it, right? Hey, the trouble with these guys is that they don't have any big dreams, no real ambitions. What do you, what do you, what do you mean, man? I got plenty of dreams. Well, then how come I don't know about them? You don't have to know about them, as long as I know about them. <laughs> well, if they're so good, these dreams of yours, then how come you don't want to talk about them? When they start coming true, then I'll start talking about them. Carlo Rico. Thank you very much. It's Frankie's oh, sister. Tell her I said hello. Mm. How far along are you? Or how many more months do you have? Um, one month. Oh, really? I have about four more. How's it going for you? Okay. Oh, it's gonna be a long, hot summer for me, I think. Excuse me. I need to get a little embarrassed sometimes. Why? She's pregnant? She ain't married. Oh. Okay. Ready for the grand tour? Mm-hmm. Let's go. I'm, I'm coming to you. No, 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 you're not. I, I'll be right out. Okay. Okay. Well, why can't I go? What? I don't need you to show off in front of my friends. Who's showing off, Rico? Never mind. I got a job for you, for the two of you. That was Carla from the hospital calling. Her car's dead. Where did it happen? In the operating room? <laughs> <laughs> You see what I mean? <laughs> You're a wise guy. She needs a new battery. Get one. Now? No. A week from now, tonto. I know where we can get a good used one. I don't want a used one. Get Carla a brand new one. Okay? Bueno, vamos. Echa un pie. You got it, Rico, man. You know something? For a guy who hates the system, Rico sure likes putting on the big act the people in it. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, it sounds I'm like crazy? Quite a project, if you ask me. I'm crazy, in other words. Yeah. Oh, no, I think everybody should be crazy like that. The town would be a lot better off. I wish I could figure out a way so that I'd be a lot better off. You know, it's not going to make me rich, you know. So you're saying you're doing this for the money? No. Well, if you need any help, you know you can ask me and I'll be there for you. That's right. I'm a great painter and I'm great at odd jobs. The only odd job you have to concentrate on is this one down here, okay? okay. Thanks, 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 thanks. I've got a great crew of guys working for me. So what about all those buildings out there? Don't they need to be renovated? There's a whole block of them that I've optioned off at the banks cooperate. But it's not easy in this part of town. Well, I'm sure the banks will give you a loan. Oh, <laughs> you should come with me someday. You know how many times I've hawked off this bodega? I don't know which bank owns it, or me at this point. Don't get scared. I'm not going to hit you guys up for a contribution or anything like that. Well, I get the feeling your campaign manager will probably handle that. Oh, what campaign manager? Well, when you're going to need about a year or two. <laughs> me in politics? No. Yeah. You guys got to be kidding. Oh, no, he's not kidding. I counted 100 people out there at least that would vote for you. Mm called Charisma Kid. You've always had it. You still got to be proud. Mm. I'm no politician. I like my privacy too much. Well, I don't think that privacy is going to last much longer, if you ask me. No, I've got my future all mapped out. All it includes, besides a lot of debt, is my wife and a whole mess of kids. Hey, Anita, bring these jokers uh, something cold to drink. I think the heat's got them. <laughs> Enjoy it. Ooh, your hot lamp special. Thanks. Anytime you're in the mood for some company, I'm available. I'm fine. I really am. I, um, don't worry about me. Drink your coffee. I'm not worried about well, you. Let's just sit in. I know you always land on your feet when problems happen. Yeah, feet on the ground. And head in the clouds. Head in the clouds. Can I ask you something I've been dying to find out? Yeah, wait, wait. Will you... I don't want that. That's all... No, it's, Please, it's dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah go me? ahead. You love Dawn. How come you don't fight for her? She's uh, married, or she's going to be married to someone else. She loves someone else. Are you sure? I, I don't know. Yes, I'm sure. If she wants that, if she wants if she wants Ned, that's what she's going to get. Whatever makes her happy. She has a choice between you and Ned, and she chooses Ned. Well, you I have think a choice she's between. A jerk. You have a choice between me and Frisco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Sorry. Months back? <laughs> Hello? Sorry Hello. to interrupt. Look what I got at the supermarket. Huh? What do you think? I think it's a little big for our oven. Yeah. I hope you got some food. Well, 
I didn't actually go. Well, you got plenty to eat. Didn't you just eat? Did you guys uh, have something to eat? A little. Okay, well, if you want more, just we can get more. I hope I'll see you before the wedding. Yeah, yeah. Have fun with um, Roger Rat. Is that it? It's a rabbit, Decker. Oh, rabbit, Decker. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Does this look like a rat? Where's Decker? Huh? I wouldn't really expect to see Decker here today. He said he was going to be here and that he had answers for me after the wedding. After Ned and Dawn leave on our honeymoon. Uh -huh. Decker's not going to be here. You know how you feel for that, Dawn. I don't know how he feels about anything. I'm tired of operating on blind faith with this guy. How would you feel if this were your brother we're talking about, huh? Well, how the hell should I know? It's irrelevant. Who cares? Answer the question. We're not I don't wrong know. about Decker. Stop it. Hey. Hello, Priscilla. Hey, how are you? Steve? Cool. How's the light? Oh, it's fine, fine. Police haven't found out who did it. Not yet. Oh, I'm pleased about that, baby. I've got a pediatrician right on hand. Oh, well, if you think I'm making house calls every night, then you better get the kid. Oh, I'm just kidding. Come here. Decker, show up at work. No, I gave him the day off. Thank you. Oh, hey, you're very pretty. Nice music, huh? Very nice. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the little lady. I thought you were bringing Robin and Anna. Honey, I did. You didn't happen to see a turbaned gentleman wandering around here, did you? I have to talk to you as soon as possible. I can say with my certainty I have not seen a turban. You look so pretty. Where's your mom? Hi. So, do you know my friend, Mrs. Sinclair? We've met. How do you do? How do you do? Hi, how are you? Okay. We are gathered here today to honor the wedding of Edward Ashton and Don Winthrop. 
Who is going to be giving the bride away? I am. Did you think Don was a beautiful bride? Yeah, she was all right. <laughs> Not as beautiful as you are. Hi, hey, kiddo. Guys. You having fun? Yeah. And the after is great. You can see all the food. Oh, how does it look? It's very good. We should go back to the reception, don't you think, honey? Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Goodbye. Want to go get some food? Sure. More than that, I'd like some answers from your friend Decker. We'll get them, don't worry. Here. Thank you. Mm-hmm. What took you so long? I was just checking our answering machine just in case. Decker made it perfectly clear. He can't tell us anything until Ned and Don leave town. Yeah. Can't or won't. I'm beginning to think he's never going to tell me anything, Felicia. Why can't you trust him? Because he's a con artist. Sorry. I'm going to try and keep our child out of prison when it's born. I'm going to go to Robert, I'm going to explain what the hell happened, and I'm going to try to bail us the hell out of here. Now you stay here and wait till I get back. Robert, we've all made mistakes in our life. And this is just one of those that I couldn't help. Ah, oh, sounds terrible. I was trying to save my wife and Colton and everyone from going to jail. I mean, how would you like to raise a kid in jail, Robert? Now, think about it. I don't know how many children you have, and you probably don't either. But if you had to raise them in... <clears throat> Shut up. If you just shut. You run out, commit a blatant felony in the middle of one of my investigations, and I'm meant to look the other way. Is that it? There were extenuating circumstances here that right. you don't. I agree with that. I agree with that. You stupid. Oh, come on. Listen, there are a lot of people who don't think that Decker threw the knife into Colton, including Colton himself. What the... So you took it upon yourself to give Decker back his bracelet. What's that, your best date for the I day? would love to see you live with Felicia and live under the heat I've been living under. She's the one, she's the one who believes in Decker. Well, my hands were tied. Well, why didn't you tell me that? You can have two cells with an adjoining door. I'm not arguing with you here. I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. I tried to bail my wife out. But <clears throat> I'm willing to make up for that. How are you going to do that? Give me my badge back. I'll find Decker for you. you approve or not. Approve of what? You're going to go into my yard? Perhaps. I'm going to keep this until I find Decker. Now, I've been forced into this situation. I talked to Robert. This is the way it's going to be. Don't get any arguments for me. Just be careful for baby and me. I guess you know that um, Monica has retained uh, Sean and Anna to look for Dawn. I got Ned Ashton coming in for questioning, too. Yes. Uh, can I stick around for that? I'd like to. Yeah, yeah, please yes. do. You got anything yet? Guys can. Nothing really, do you? Work no, 